what's going on guys Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care and I wanted to show you the uh, new Milwaukee hatchet yep it is called a hatchet and what it is is a, a pruning saw which uses the uh, M12 fuel battery and uh, here I am just putting some uh, chainsaw oil in the little compartment and yeah I kind of overfilled it just a little bit that ain't no big deal this is my first time actually using it so uh, like you guys I'm taking a look at it and seeing what is what um, so this thing is uh, supposed to cut I guess two inches in between two and three inches uh, pieces of wood you know anything that would be too small for you to take a uh, actually saw to it or, or you know something that a pruner can't cut you, know, you take it out there so this is a little tool uh, that you use in case of, you know the the chains the, the chain come off and this is where you insert the, the battery right here and the little switch um, is basically you have to press the switch in order for the uh, machine to work you know what I mean so and that's the way you hold it guys when you're supposed to cut yeah I felt that first I grabbed it on the top but that's the way you're supposed to hold it you put your hands in between and hold it so let me walk around and see if I can find something that we can use it on uh, I brought it with me just in case you know how it is you get out here to these jobs and who knows you can find something uh, to use it for but uh, while I'm looking around trying to find something to cut um, according to Milwaukee they say that this saw provides 120 cuts per charge you know if you're cutting something like a uh, two inch uh, thick oak so here I'm just trying and again yeah you can use a pruner to cut these guys but I just want to kind of get a feel for the actual uh, hatchet but like I said before everything is just so thin and you know yeah I'm trying it and again I'm not holding it the right way but you know it cuts right <laughs> it cuts to make the job a little bit easier let me try to throw this across the fence nope nope not going anywhere all right, let's continue walking around and see what we can find. Let me see if this is good. Uh -huh. Eh, let's try this. Okay, it cuts it. <laughs> of course it will. All right, so let me keep uh, walking around. All right, let's try this. Okay, so I'm holding the top and cutting it with the bottom. Again, the wrong way to cut it, to use the saw, but as you can tell, it slides right through it. So, pretty good. Let's try cleaning it off and holding this the right way and see uh, how easy it is to cut. Uh, again, not holding it. Okay. So, once I put my hand there, bam, it slices like butter, guys. So that is the right way right here to use a saw. And man, when you hold it the right way, this thing slices like a knife. I'm telling you. Real nice, quick, fast. Huh. Nice. Let's keep walking around and see if we can find something else to cut. But um, what I'm gonna use this for guys, you know when you uh get up there and you know you can use it to trim the crepe myrtles. Or when you actually uh, cut a limb, you know, you can use it to cut a limb off a tree. Sometimes you only need to cut like one or two limbs and you don't need to take the whole saw with you. You can just uh, bring this little dandy hatchet with you and just cut the stuff off. And then you can kind of use it to just cut everything down to size like this. Not bad. So once again guys I'm just walking around real world situation I'm not trying to stage anything I'm walking around one of my commercial properties just trying to find things to trim I mean to prune with this uh, with the hatchet um, and I, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys but this this little the hatchet is uh, five pounds 
Yep, this thing is, uh, weighs five pounds. And that's with the battery included. Yeah. It has a uh, six, inch, six inch bar. Yeah, it's a pretty little handy tool. So again, I'm still walking around the perimeter and see if I can find something. Oh, I know what. Let me take you over here. There you go. Now let me cut this. This is about three and a half, four inch limb. And let's see how quick it can cut it. Damn, look at that. That was fast. No, I like that. Pretty cool, right? Again, guys, this is my first time using it, but you know, you can use your imagination. You, you guys know, you know, how we do out there. There's a right way to hold it, and the way I'm doing it now here, I am <laughs> trying to figure out how to squeeze this trigger. That's the only thing, you know, you gotta kind of, like anything else, I guess, you know, you gotta kind of get used to it um, and hold it the right way. Alright guys, so let's try one more cut and this will be even hard for a regular saw, but let's, let's cut this right here. Let's put this little joker to the test. Give me a little bit of tough time, but again, you guys know, especially the ones that cut trees and stuff like that, when you're cutting right there on that notch, you'll see it's hard. But I want to put this hatchet to the test and see uh, if it can cut through this. Because again, you guys want to see what this little puppy can do, right? Let's cut all the way through. All right, let me go on the other side and see. There you go. And hit it. All the way through. There you go. Hi right, guys. Quick demo. Put in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Alright. Have a blessed one. Pop smoke. Peace.